Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a spirit message for September. Uh, thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. Hopefully some of this, if not all, will resonate and you'll like, share and subscribe again. The September messages and monthlies are up. The monthly me I'll say that again. The monthly message for September is up and there's other spirit messages on my channel if you want to look at them. But today, Spirit, please show me the message that you want me to give to Capricorn. Magician card, beautiful. The Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. And the Moon card. Now, this is about things that you don't see yet. The Moon card, there can be a fear energy based energy here. Fear is just an illusion. I know it seems real in the human forum, but there's things going to be real to you further down the line that are going to help you with internal or external conflict, or there could be something that's revealed that's causing this kind of internal conflict within yourself or your environment. Okay, now fives can be competition in the workplace for promotion. It could be you thinking you're not good enough or you're not going to make it. You know, it's about, it can be about your, you're doubting yourself here. Like I say, there's a type of fear energy and insecurity around you here about your abilities. Now, this is also can be other people. They're not nasty people. They could be people that care for you. That could be saying, are you doing the right thing? You know, if, if there's information coming in and you want to act on it, you know, are you sure you want to be doing that? Or is that the right choice you're making? It's it, They can have your best interests at heart, but you don't want to be finding yourself, defending yourself in that sense. You want to be doing what's right for you. Because this Capricorn is about you manifesting what it is you want. So you've got a goal an ambition, a skill you want to learn, a relationship you want to start up, whatever it may be for you, whatever you're manifesting or your 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 goals are. Spirit's saying now is the time to start uh, going down that path. You've got the ability to bring these manifestations to fruition here. Now, the magician is somebody who's got the Midas touch. He turns base metal into gold. You can see him reaching to the universe there. As above, so below. He's also got the infinity symbol. He's got the knowledge now. Everything is right for you to be manifesting. So don't be frightened about your abilities to achieve your goals here. And don't be listening to other people over what it is that you're wanting for yourself. Because you're in a beautiful place now, Capricorn, to bring your manifestations to fruition. Now, this is the Nine of Pentacles. And she is the, she's the, the uh, young empress. She is somebody who's very confident. She's not in this five of sort of one's energy. She's somebody who has got high confidence, high self-esteem. She knows exactly where she wants to put her energies and her efforts when it comes to work and people and environments. So she's created this beautiful space for herself here and there's only more to come. She's got a good work-life balance. She knows what energies, you know, how much to put very balanced environment. She's not overworked and neglecting her home life. There's beautiful balance all around her. Balance in her finances and uh, in her relationships, in her life in general. So she's very confident. And this is the energy that we need to be in when we want to go towards our manifestations. That helps us manifest, having confidence and trust and belief in ourselves. Now, the beautiful thing about this energy, this card, is that people will look at you and recognize the fact that you've created stability in your life. You have the ability and you, they will look at you and see that you're a stable person. You've got, you're handling your finances well. You've got good, um, you've made good choices for yourself and you're very confident. And people pick up that type of energy and you attract more of that energy to you. So beautiful energy there, Capricorn. Don't be doubting yourself. And that's what brings in your change and your manifestations. Death card, beautiful King of Pentacles here. The Six of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. She's come up a lot today in these readings and the Tower Moment. Now, don't panic. We'll do the Tower Moment first. This is about change. Now, it could feel as if the rug's been pulled under your feet. It could be you manifesting new things. It could be news coming in that's disappointed you where your uh, foundations have been rocked. But the idea of this is that solid things that are based on things that are not solid fall away anyway. So this could be spirit moving in 
or you're learning something that's rocked the foundations. Now, it could be in any area of your life. It could be in your relationships, your home life, your uh, work life, or your environments. Anything, right? Your finances. But there's been a shake-up. And this is designed to bring in change. That's why these things happen. Scorpio energy here. This is out, out with the old and in with the new. This is what spirit is wanting for you. So don't be frightened to make these changes you need to make, Capricorn, to go forward towards your own stability and bringing yourself into, you know, into a healthier place. Because this is about change. Out with the old and in with the new. And that's what a tower moment is. So could you make making the decision to do that? Now, we don't want to be coming from a place of lack. Five is change. We don't want to be thinking about what we've lost here and what's gone. We want to be focusing on what we can build on here to create the new stability that's, that we can, you know, that we can, we want to be focused. So this is being left out in the cold and feeling disappointed. If they look up here, there's refuge. There's always refuge. So after the tower moment, it's about rebuilding things. It's a five and fives are changed. So we need to change the way we're looking at things here. And we want to say, right, this tower moment's happened. It's designed to bring in change. After the tower moment in the major arcana comes the star card. It's hope and rejuvenation. So if there's been anything disastrous in any area of your life, this is about reevaluating things, looking at what we can build now and how we're going to bring the stability back. Because this is what we need to be looking at. It's about manifesting what we want for ourselves. So any kind of instability is gone now. Anything we build now is going to be built on a solid foundation and it's going to grow. And we're going, it's going to take us towards this beautiful, confident, Empress, young Empress energy, this Nine of Pentacles energy. Now, one way of looking at things and bringing in change, and this might be what it is, is we cut out people in situations that no longer serve us. Now, the Queen of Wands, is beg your pardon, Swords, is a very intellectual energy. She's very clear-headed about how she wants to go forward. So it, it, there might be news that's came in or things revealed to you. She's using it to her benefit. She's using it to bring the changes in that's needed. She cuts out people in situations that no longer serve her. In other words, she gets rid of all the stability in her life. And she's very clear in the direction she wants to go forward. She's not feeling disappointed. She's using the knowledge she's gained, the information she's got, and she's making very clear-headed decisions about the path she wants to go down. And that's how you manifest. That's how you start to manifest. Thinking about what it is you want for yourself here. And that's what brings the change in energies for you. Now, this is going to make you happy. There's a lot of happy, joyful energy to be had here. Okay, so there could be people from a previous life coming in. It could be somebody giving you information. If it's somebody coming in that helps you, it's Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, but this tower moment... Or anything that's going on at the moment is designed to bring in change and to help you manifest and go towards what it is you want to create that's going to make you happy. And like I say, there's a beautiful, joyful, playful energy here. And this could be somebody from your past coming back. So it could be a friend that you've got friends, fond memories of that's helping you rebuild things. Um, it could be something from your past where you're walking away from a job because you're fed up. There's been news that you're disappointed in. So it's time. It's it's not going well for you. There's different degrees of tower moments. It doesn't have to be all, you know, uh, everything is a disaster. It can be realising that you need to go down another path, that what we've got isn't serving us well, and we need to build new solid foundations, things that we want that are going to help us grow and prosper. So you might, for example, be in a job where you don't see promotion and you're kind of feeling stuck. So we need to look at that. We need to cut out these that job environment and go towards clearly what it is we want to create. And that's going to bring in great stability. So that could be the type of change we're talking about. And that's part of manifesting. OK, now also this is going to bring great stability for the future. Now, he's someone like I say, he's not focusing on what he's lost. He's very clear headed about what he's wanting to create. And he's created great financial stability around him. So if you're in a job that's not paying well, you might want to decide that I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go and do a course. I'm going to educate myself on something and it's going to serve me well further down the line and I can start to be better paid and better money. That type of energy we're talking about. And that's the start of the young 
the Empress being confident about what you want to create and where you're putting your energies here. So he has good working relationships. He has financial stability. This could be you that could end up a boss. It could feel, You might feel that you're not getting promoted. So you might want to go and do a course and bring change in. You might want to do that. Like I say, and it makes you, it puts you in a position where you can get promotion. You could become a boss type figure. But there's growth here. Being in a position of growth. So greater money coming in, uh, good working relationships around you, in a job that you enjoy and you can prosper in, and a beautiful, brings a beautiful home life. So he's very, very secure now. He's done the work. He's put the efforts and work into what he wants. He's manifested what he wants for himself. He stayed focused and he's managed to achieve it. Okay, so I hope this helps. I'm going to bring a fairy message in now. Can we please have a fairy message, Spirit? Well, this just came out for Libra. Divination. Embrace your powers of divination. What, what, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. No matter what you're in, you've got the ability to see crystal clear clarity. And that's what Spirit's saying. You're in a position to manifest what it is you want for yourself here, Capricorn. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.